Hey guys, going on? It's October BNP. I got an app review for you here today. Kind of um, a thing that might just not be in the App Store tomorrow. So if you're gonna want this application, you're gonna want to go and get it right now. It's 99 cents in the iTunes App Store. Um, the app I'm talking about is the one on the bottom right hand corner called iDOS. It's an emulator for iOS for DOS. It's based on DOSBox for Windows and for it's based on a DOSBox emulator and what it does is it allows you to run different kinds of classic games that you used to run on your old computer um, games like Jez Ball and Miss Pac-Man and all those old school games that you guys remember from you know your first computer you had so I'm gonna open this up now I haven't really figured out there's not much information about this app at all online right now I've been searching for hours trying to figure out different commands and stuff like that people do have different have pictures of Miss Pac-Man running all that stuff but nobody has the command to open it so if you know it or if you know you're uh, um, you know into this kind of stuff I'm not really I, I never really experimented with DOS so I don't know too much about it but I will show you guys how to get into it the options you know what it looks like and how to get the normal commands um, of a directory of the normal commands. so I'm gonna open up the app so you guys can see what it's all about First, I'm gonna close it so you guys can see exactly So it is in landscape. So there it is, right here. Now I know it looks really uh, dark because it's all black. All you see on the bottom, you can see it says options on the bottom down there, and here, let me see if I can get that view a little better for you guys. There you go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, on the bottom left it says option. On top it has the uh, the C command line. And on the bottom right it's an R, left and a right. And 3000 K-pad, KBD K keyboard. So here first click on the options. And uh, here are the options. Let me lower the exposure there so you guys can see that. So here are the options for this. You have the customized keypad. You can go back. You can um, change the transparency of the screen. Uh, you could you have full screen. This is also compatible with the iPad for everybody. So everybody who has an iPad can go download it for that as well. You can change. Um, you can force your aspect ratio to four three. You can also disable the keypad sound and um, increase the mouse speed or decrease the mouse speed. Or you can view the credits. We'll go look at this here. The credits. The person that created it. As you can see on the top, it says this. This DOS emulator is based on DOSBox 0.74. That's all for the options. Now to bring up the keyboard, you're going to want to press the KBD button, and that'll bring up this classic style keyboard. And now, like I was telling you guys before, I'll show you this. You type in help and press return. It will give you a um, list of all the normal you know, commands, the general commands that you need to know for the DOS emulator. And then over here is the um, the mouse, the soft mouse as they call it. It's easy to uh, view everything and do everything with this once you're inside of a, a game or something like that. To get rid of that you just press that. That's really all there is to the application. It's Like I said before, I'm not really too sure how to command into anything really so if you guys know how leave me a comment let me know how to do that I'm really interested in it I'm gonna keep on looking and if I figure out how I will make another video and show you guys how to command into games I know Miss Pac-Man and uh, Dig Dug I believe the game is called come with this app and as they upgrade it they're gonna add more so you don't have to put them in yourself though you can put all the um, DOS box games onto this and play them um, I know that you're going to need the unzip command for that, but that's all I really know. But that's really all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, like I said, just leave a comment below. Let me know. Shoot me a message. And that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later.